welcome to Air Hockey VR. I did a review of Air Hockey VR back in October last year. And like I said then, this game is genius in its simplicity. And much like forever bowling and darts, this game makes me want to try the actual sport in real life. I may not like it as much, but yeah, I'd still give it a go. Since October, however, the devs have been putting in the hours, burning that midnight oil, and that's what I love to see. Developers, AAA or indie, always on their upkeep game, always maintaining, always coming up with new ideas to keep their product fresh and appealing. In this update video, I'll go through what has changed. First up, they added a voiced tutorial. To change the height of the table, hold the sides of the table with the grip and the trigger buttons, and move your hands up or down. And yes, if that voice sounds a bit familiar, you're correct. It's yours truly. I did do some voice work here. It's a pretty detailed tutorial, which is also easier to follow than many, as it has a voice. Sounds more like a movie trailer than a video game tutorial, but hey, it's the only voice I got. In settings, you can prevent the puck from flying off the table, select the difficulty of the bots, or disable the display of avatars and hands. Then up next, the pucks don't jump off the table anymore, and mallets stick to the table. Now this, I love. We've got some new and creative mallets and pucks to choose from. I'm really glad the devs implemented this. Although only cosmetic, it does help breathe new life into the game and isn't too hard on the eyes either. Some really creative choices here. There's a location selector with more locales to choose from. We have added in quite a few since I last played. This again is a great and much appreciated addition. The pass-through feature has been updated and is now available for all to try. This again is pretty amazing. As distorted as the quest's pass-through feature is, when playing games like this, having the ability to add your own play space to the game does help, distorted black and white or not. There are also new graphic configurations in the settings menu. You can also disable trails. And then, there are a few optimization tweaks available. This includes network optimization as well. So, for some sweet single-player or online multiplayer in a game that never gets old and is constantly updated by some truly passionate developers who will, by the way, listen to your feedback, link to their Discord and the game in the description. Air Hockey VR is the game for you. It's available on SideQuest and App Lab for your Quest and Quest 2. Grab yourself a copy, you won't regret it. I've also got keys up for grabs. All you've got to do is leave a comment telling me what you like the most about Air Hockey VR and that you'd like a key, and I'll hook you up. First come, first serve. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. While you're at it, hit that notification bell like one of those shiny new pucks in Air Hockey VR. Let's say I found a way to piss you off with this one, though. And then, hey, we all know where to find them various hate buttons, don't we? Do what you gotta do. Either way, I won't hold it against you. Our game is never over.